Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface, part of TGN, Total Gaming Network, with your second dose of WoW Patch 5.1 BTR for the day. Now, TakTak is going to fly us to Kunlai Summit, specifically to Garishar Advance, which is the new Horde base there. And en route, he just reminds us of what's been going on so far. He tells us that Lothramar Theron is considering leaving the Horde completely that Bane Bloodhoof feels that Garrosh is unfit to actually run the Horde, and you can probably understand why, as Garrosh asks Ishi to cut this Mogo up into little pieces to extract the information about where this weapon is, where this bell is. Garrosh, I suggest you just look in the mirror. There is a huge bell end looking back at you. Now, Bane Bloodhoof has a more peaceful solution to this problem, and he tells us to hunt a soul to kill this soul and get its essence bring the essence back to bane bane will make a concoction out of this essence we will take the concoction it will allow us to see into the mogu's past memories and we can see for ourselves where the weapon has been stashed so if i was to paraphrase all of that bane bloodhoof wants us to trip balls okay fair enough well look we've helped an alcoholic all the way through the tillers quest line we might as well trip balls ourselves mm -hmm. so i've been sent to this little cave this is actually the entrance way that will take you through to zoichin village if i went all the way through to the end and we have these level 90 vengeful souls floating around now for myself these are hitting pretty tough and it's not helping by the fact that my warlock pets are all bugged at the moment Ow! it takes about five or six seconds to actually react to anything and uh one of my pets is on a 24 day cooldown <laughs> so i can't even use that so unfortunately i can't even continue with the brawlgar stuff at the moment or the um was it bismo's brawl pub if you're on the alliance side because the pets are just just useless and i'd rather do them on a class that i i know than uh on a class that i don't but uh yeah on our way out <laughs> everything's respawned really quickly thanks and uh yeah we just got to kill them all again now apologies for the cursor wobbling all around the screen the reason for that is a couple of days ago i decided to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 8 and unfortunately the installation didn't go according to plan so i had to refresh it which microsoft said wouldn't have any effect on my pc apart from the fact it complete and utterly wiped my hard drive so everything every game every program everything wiped off the only thing i had left were my documents i chihuahua so i just spent the last two days reinstalling everything <laughs> And I forgot to take off the little cursor thing on my fraps. But there we go. We are now tripping balls officially. And as you can see, we are in the north coastline of Kunlai Summit. And this is where this little entrance way is. And this is where the Mogu have stashed the bell, the weapon. Now, after I did this quest, I actually decided to go in search of this area. And it is now in the game. And um, I went inside, it's no mobs in there whatsoever, no items, so it's still got to be done, but interesting to see. But Shan isn't a very nice Mogu, because he decides to um, kill all his Mogu mates, trap them in the cave, and their spirits will have to guard the weapon for eternity. What a charmer. So I shall pick up this story when I get my next one. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. Please do like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I shall be back with some more stuff cursor-free very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.